Alright, so I know a few people are trying to get into importing stadiums and getting them materialized and stuff. I know it can be a pain if it's not already materialized. So I'm going to show you a simplified example of how to do that. So let's say I go up here and add a mesh. Let's do a cube. So let's say this is your stadium. Uh, if you go up here to the top right, it may be on the bottom or somewhere on this main screen, but it will be here. You'll see the solid circles filled in. Uh, for materials, you want to do viewport shading. This will let you see materials. So right now, nothing is materialized. So if this is your stadium, and let's say this is the concrete around your stadium. I always like to keep the names pretty simple and all the names unified. So if you drop it down, do that to concrete. Then you want to come here to the bottom right. Oh, I should say I'm using Blender 2.93. The newest version of Blender is the easiest for this. So once you get to the materials right here, go to new. Uh, also try to keep this name the same. It's just a lot easier. Go to concrete. Now when you create a new material, it should already have base color right here. But if not, click use nodes and it will show up. So if it looks like this, just click use nodes. Go to the yellow dot. Go to image texture. Whatever image you want this to be, click on open. I'm just going to use this texture I have on my desktop. Uh, beam. And once you assign that, it is done and textured. So this is how you get a a material assigned and a texture assigned in Blender. And then you want to just export it as a DAE. Um, when you export it, make sure you have this copy checked. So it'll export your textures with it. Say I export this to my desktop. So it exports that and the image file it uses. So when you export that to the folder in Beam, it will have the texture and the DA right there. So when you drag the DAE in Blender to place it on a map, the game should write its own materials file. And once it writes its own materials file, then you're done. And that's how you get something exported into Beam with the material. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment them down below.